focusing on you. Innovations in modern medicine from your team of experts at UHealth, the University of Miami Health System. When David Raska had cramps in his leg that wouldn't go away, his wife Nanette knew there was something wrong. He came home with a sore on his foot. David, a diabetic, eventually couldn't feel his foot and wound up in the hospital. Dr. Jorge Ray, a vascular surgeon at UHealth, says PAD affects blood flow to the limbs. Usually, if somebody has uh, peripheral artery disease, you can uh, start by having some pain uh, when, uh, when you walk. Unfortunately, he started with an ulcer in his toe. He ended up uh, developing gangrene. It could be a result of smoking. It could be a result of uh, a disbalances in, in a diet. A patient can accumulate plaque in the vessels. And that plaque, if it's enough or excessive, can get to the point where the artery is completely blocked. We can fix arteries, we can fix veins, we can use minimally invasive techniques, we can use medications, and we can also use or do a surgery, open surgery, uh, open reconstructions. Doctor, talk to us about you health and why it has such a unique approach. This is not a one-person job. This is a team approach that we have. We work closely with our colleagues from cardiology from podiatry, from plastic surgery, with the wound care uh, team also. The blockage in David's leg was so bad, doctors thought they might have to amputate. We were forced to do a, a major reconstruction of the entire circulation of his lower extremity. Fortunately, we were able to do that using his own vein. He actually recovered really well. We get this miraculous phone call that they found a vein in the leg, the same leg. David and his wife are thankful to Dr. Ray and the team of specialists at UHealth for saving his leg. They're organized, they follow up. The fact that they didn't give up, they did not give up. 